Right. Please welcome Holly Willoughby. <laughs> at the centre of Cleavage Gate. It's just the weirdest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> it's it wasn't crazy. even that low, was it? Yeah. I it? Honestly, it's like I'm living in someone else's world the last <laughs> two weeks and they're talking about someone. I feel like this might just be a big ploy. Someone's going to go, ah, we got you, didn't we? we got Did you, you feel that, oh, well, this dress is a bit daring, but it's fine. Or have you worn dresses that are more daring? I've, I mean, on the scale of... I mean, this is our third Sunday. series now and I wear the same style of dress. I mean, my body is such that it dictates that it suits certain things, you know, and so all of my dresses have always been the same. And I think maybe because it was white, I don't know, yeah, maybe it's because it it's so still... not cleavagey. Mm. It wasn't cleavagey. Thank you. Do you know, I found the whole thing. I don't know if you would you not like to be taken a little bit more seriously? It's like, oh, it's a female presenter, let's talk about her breasts. I found it a bit tiresome. <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah. done. well done. Thank you. Uh, well, I think, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it would be nice. I guess, yes, you're right. It would be nice if actually all the publicity was about something like, oh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Well, she doing a good, good job. Her job yeah, exactly, that would yeah. be nice. But it does, you know, unfortunately, oh, those are the things that get the attention. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I mean, you, you have been, you know, your career has been sort of launched by your looks. You're very beautiful. You're a teen model, weren't you? But you've never sort of subscribed to the super skinny thing or been no, pressured no, no. to kind of get into that. You know, definitely not. It's something, you know, I love. Food, <laughs> you know. I love cooking food. I love all of that, and I'm just—I will never be that shape. I will never bow down. I don't know whether that's what it was. I don't know whether it's because people are so used to seeing kind of these very, very skinny girls on TV. So when they wear that, if they wore that same dress, they might not have these bumps and lumps in them because they're so tiny. So I don't know whether it was because people suddenly that's what saw it is. it's just so unusual. a normal-sized mm. girl in a dress and suddenly went, oh, she's you know showing off all yeah. her wares. So like, it's really well, they are sort of natural, am I? So you like cooking? Yes. Um, what about stock? Do you think life's too short? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I always make chicken stock. Good girl! You see, always, proper always, girl always. eats proper food. Mm. If you eat proper food, but I still do eat direct from the fridge as well. Do you? I quite often find myself walking into the kitchen, opening the fridge door and going, mm. why did I just walk in here and open this? Oh, a bit of cheese. All right, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do you, you and your hubby sit table? down? Yeah. yeah. Do you sit um, down at a proper table? Or? Not really. We mm. are, well, mm, if it's the weekend, we do, but more often often or not, we do sort of sit in front of the telly and kind of, you know, eat. You've got one of those that. trays with a bit of a cushion underneath. No, I'm not. 80. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got them. <laughs> we have. They're very comfortable. They're very comfortable. <laughs> Do you like a drink, Holly? I do. I do. And I know when you were saying often it's somebody who might be a bit of an alcoholic themselves who puts people through a bad time when they don't drink. I'm actually quite like that. I sort of get, and I know it's wrong, but if somebody's sitting there and we go, go out for a night and a friend will go, oh, I drove, I kind of get a bit like, why have you driven? We're supposed to be having a drink. We're supposed to be having a nice time. So, I don't know. I like to have a drink. But people do have a nice time without yes. drinking, I mean, though, don't they? But I don't think it's to the extent that you're talking about. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not the type of girl that goes out and pukes up in a gutter on the way home. <laughs> I'm just not that sort of person. She's not but like you. I like to have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never sick. I fall asleep, but I'm never in the gutter. Well, no, I, don't but I like I to have a drink. Mm. But not to not. To but say so like I mean obviously you're 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 married with someone. But if you were on a date like you're going on a date with a guy and he didn't have a drink, would you would you ask why? Like Joe, Joe would automatically assume he I was an alcoholic. Odd, would you? I would be questioning why he wasn't, mm. and instead of and probably wrongly instead of going, oh maybe he's just healthy, maybe he just doesn't like drink. I'd be going, are you an ex-alcoholic? Mm. Why yeah. can't you drink? Mm. I would be worried. <laughs> now in addition to dancing on ice, you're also mm. hosting the, the sister show which is Make Me A Star, yes. isn't it? And this is for, correct me if I'm wrong, members of the public. Yes. It's not celebs, is yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 it's, it's not sort celebs. of X Factor on Ice, is it kind, kind of? Kind of just like that. We're looking for um, anyone that can do anything entertaining on ice. So it's not just about somebody who can skate beautifully or pairs skating. It can be somebody who does magic or juggling or singing or... Whatever it is, we're looking for that. And um, basically, we're just asking people to get in touch and then they can be in with a chance of auditioning for Torval and Dean. And then um, the prize is, is that they get to perform at the live final of Dancing on Ice next year in 2009, where I'll be fully naked. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth tuning in. <laughs> I read somewhere that you, you, that you like the show best when you're watching the celebs when they fall over. There's a bit of you that's kind of... <laughs> well, you know, as long as they didn't really hurt themselves. I mean, Andy Peters obviously was the classic moment where he kind of took a real stumble but it's quite funny but it's when they hurt themselves that's not funny
Do you, do you at the beginning of the show, do you, you know, watch it as, the, as if you're a judge and think, oh, I've oh, got to go? Uh, yeah, you actually, everyone Can't becomes a complete critic. I mean, <laughs> yeah. from the sound men to the runners to the, we're all going, yeah, Triple Axel's not very good on that. And you're sort of, <laughs> you can't help Suddenly yourself. an expert. Yeah, we're all experts. <laughs> yeah. So, Dancing on Ice, Sunday nights on ITV1. Holly, yes. thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my Holly, pleasure. Holly, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.